Hey guys, I got a quick video for you guys today and I want to make a couple points that I've been thinking about the past couple of days while I've been studying for finals. But here, let me show you the polar bear coins first. They're all very beautiful coins, very thick. Here is the quarter ounce gold panda, I mean polar bear, I'm um, sorry. Um, I mean, I, I swear this coin is just flawless. I wonder how clear it's going to show up in the video, but this coin is just perfect. I mean, it's probably my second favorite gold coin in my collection. Same with the silver, silver ones. One and a half ounce, very thick coin, as you guys can see. Now, I'm going to kind of hold this and just kind of hold it up in front of the camera while I'm um, talking to my video so then it's not just like sitting right there for you guys to for you guys to just stare at while I'm talking in the video. I apologize in my other videos that it's a, a little boring like that, but but anyways, on to the topic. So, now for my health behavior and health promotion studies. I actually came across um, the diffusion theory and it's actually part of my final. Now, this theory has to do with a lot of trends. Trends of any kind. Just trends with like for example like you know, the clothes people wear, uh, where people go to eat, what people are buying nowadays, the electronics people are buying, you know, stuff like that. Now, understand we first, we have the innovators, then we have the early adopters, the early majority, we have the late majority, and then we have the laggards. I will get into, you know, I will get into that, I mean, I will get into what each of these mean later in this video, but first, first guys, a lot of people are posting stupid garbage okay about that silver is going to go even lower and it's gonna die off I believe that if you didn't make any purchases purchases this month and instead sold a portion or maybe your entire stack you made you may have made a big mistake I mean the market is being manipulated guys it's being manipulated with what I believe to be fake prices to kill the bandwagon jumpers now um, this is what I mean by bandwagon jumpers I mean this goes back to what I was saying about the diffusion theory. I kind of want to tie this theory with gold and silver investing. Hopefully it's going to make sense. If somehow I don't make any sense in this video, guys, I apologize, but I just thought it'd be a good topic. Now, the diffusion theory, um, the diffusion theory, um, it talks about how ideas come about and it, it talks about how um, there are initial consumers of an idea and there's innovators of an idea. Now, um, that group is what I call the the um, the innovators group and um, and the early adopters. You know the people within between those two terms. Okay, so for gold and silver investors, it'd be the people from many years ago since the gold rush. Okay, then we have the early adopters and the early majority, the people who invested. We have the people who invested in um, in gold, say the nineties. Yeah, let's just say the 90s, for example, and up to the um, 2007, okay, uh, when gold was under $500 an ounce and it went up to $900 an ounce. Those are the early adopters and, ma and early majority people, okay, so the people within those two terms. They make up a good number of people, but it isn't as big as the late majority. Now, the late majority would be the category I'm in. Okay, the late majority people are the are people that you would kind of call the bandwagon people because those are people who have seen what the early adopters have done and the early majority people have done. Okay, so the late adopter, the late the late majority are the people who have seen results of what has happened for people who were the late who were the early majority people and the early adopters. All right. So, uh, I put myself in that category, the late majority. I'm considered very late. I just got into all of this the recent August, and I really want to make it a part of my life starting in my early 20s because I believe that's about a good age to start. Um, better, um, better now than never. I put myself in the late majority because, I, I mean, look at how high the goal has been, and it's not really budging. All right, I, I started when gold was near its record highest. I mean, what was it in September? The recent September, what was it at? 1800? Something like that. 
Now, there's a lot of lay majority people like me in precious metals investing, and there's loads of other kinds of people. You have people like me who have a general knowledge of what this is all about. And then you have people who just want to jump into the bandwagon because they see profit in it. You have those people who think, ah, I just want to make a quick buck. I heard gold is where all the money is. I'm going to invest gold and make a profit. But this shouldn't be the main reason why you guys invest in precious metals, people. Think about it. Okay? If gold is $1,600 an ounce right now, and if it goes up 30 bucks the next day, woohoo, right? You know, actually, not so fast. Um, for the sake of making, making 30 bucks, I have to put up $1,600 now. That doesn't make any sense. And on top of it, think about the premium. Now, we're not going to talk about the laggards, okay? Because the laggards are the people who aren't interested at all about this kind of stuff. Okay? Um, you would label possibly your family members, maybe your coworkers, and maybe your friends as laggards, because they are most likely not interested in this kind of stuff. Okay, I'm literally the only person other than, well, actually, me and my two buddies recently who bought their first one ounce coins. Um, we're the only people out of a thousand residents in this in this dorm 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 dormitory building that knows about this kind of stuff or has any idea what precious metals investing is. Okay. Um, now, gold and silver is obviously going down, guys, right? And but in the past two weeks, it's been a bit more stable. And it's just hovering within the current price today around fourteen sixty and for gold and twenty four dollars or so for silver, right? Um, now, so what? What? Uh, so know that there's a lot of people who just jumped into the bandwagon like me because of what I call the early adopters and early majority. Know that there's a lot of people now, but. Um, then we have those people who were the, because, because we jumped on because of the early adopters and the early majority. Um, I mean, look at how many cash for gold places there are now. Okay. People open those kind of places because they know a lot of people are starting to look at, look at, uh, read up about gold and how much money there actually is in it. And a lot of people are jumping in the business, business, trying to take advantage of people who aren't so knowledgeable in the precious metals industry. Now, I really believe that the market is seeing a trend. Okay, I really believe there's there's starting to be. I think the market's actually noticing a trend that um, pay, because pe paper money is, is declining in value. And what, other, and what other way is there to shake a good number of people off than to manipulate the price into making those bandwagon jumpers uh, think that they made a mistake and that they should not get precious metals anymore and just forget about it? Okay, I really think the prices right now are just are just temporary. They are temporary, guys. I mean, they're just they they just went down. They went down on that crucial day, April twelfth, you know, to make people scared of and question their investment. Okay, so what I want everyone watching this video right now is to just um, think, stay strong, everyone, and just keep accumulating, okay? Everyone watching this video, we have to understand we're a small market. We're a small group of people, okay? The silver market is very small, guys. And Silverfish VT, you mentioned that um, 8 million people, for, for God's sakes, are watching ridiculous videos from boyfriend versus girlfriend, Okay, they're watching boyfriend versus girlfriend, and rather they should be educating themselves into what we're doing. But you know what? Whatever's. Narrow this down to the people you care about, guys. Narrow this down to just our little group and help each other along to stick with this plan of investment or silver stacking. All right, we got to keep our chin up, guys, and believe in our investment. Leave a comment below, guys, and let me know what you think. And I mean, are you guys letting the prices manipulate your choice? Are you letting the prices manipulate you into thinking that, you know, into, think, into questioning your investment? Or is it making you happy and making you buy more and more? So, yeah, just leave a com comment below, guys. I really appreciate what you guys have been saying. Uh, I really like my subscribers. Uh, I see familiar names all the time, I, and I really like you guys. 
Um, you guys keep me going every day and thinking about silver and gold, of course. So yeah, I'll talk to you later, guys. Thanks for watching.